Where's the other you one? I submit. Cowering in the corner. Really? I'll see you in pieces. I'm sorry. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. what it would be like to fight in an arena. I can just imagine the roar of the crowd and the adoring fans. <laughs> I wouldn't even mind if they stared, because it would be for the right reasons. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short, princess. I'd imagine you'd make it to at least a Myrmidon. And even then, it'd probably be the bribes that filled you depending on whether or not you took them. Well, that depends on what All right, you two, you're you gonna be talking all day, it seems that. like. Come on, we... Oh, this is a dead horse over here. We need to go over here and uh, check out this arena fight. Wherever it is, is it up here? Behind us. Fort Sun Guard. Here it is. What? Skeevers. Get them. I don't even need to lift a finger with my shields. Jishar will have at least three voices to rally him when he is struggling. This way. I will try to be as loud as ten men. <laughs> I suspect Gar will have little trouble doing the same. Just make sure you give us something to cheer about, friend. Following you. Come on, Zora. Oh, I guess there's running in here. Hmm. Okay. What's all this about, friend? Yes. I don't like where those arrows are pointed. Are you kidding me? A trap? Really? Do you know who we are? Jashar, whatever your name is. What's this? You? Jashar, he is sorry. This was the only way. But in the end, you will all thank him. If you think a handful of archers can stop us, Jashar, then you've completely lost your mind. Indeed. Ah, but Jashar knows all the angles. He knows that an innocent pat on the back can carry with it a needle of poison. In fact, it should be taking effect right about now. The archers, they are only here to buy it more time. Poison? What? How? Oh! Jashar was worried the boys needed to be much. Got to be kidding me. The mammoth of a red guard. What have you done with Gore and Zora? The red guard fights in the pit as we speak. He will no doubt crush the poor sap that is up against him. We must hurry if we are to watch. The girl has her own match, but somewhere else. They will take us to her when our match is done. 
You'll notice you have all your belongings. This is to prove to you Jashar did not poison you out of malice. <laughs> In his prime, our friend was a great so, arena fighter. There's, there's different ty you types of poisoning. So playing the politics. If not for his strange affinity for lesser creatures, he would have been grand champion. Of course, the bigger title, the more adept one must be outside of the arena. His choice to leave may have saved his life. Here, in the pits, I will handle the politics and keep us all safe. There is our gladiator now. Jeshar prefers this Go. to the arena. It is far more intimate. Jashar, you bloody snake. As soon as I'm done with this one, I'm gonna drive you through the stone. Ah, uh, do you not see Jashar is on your side? Ah, but we'll see how angry you are. Pockets are overflowing with gold. Now, this is when Jashar's hard work pays off. Jashar has get spent him, get him, get Go off! Get him! Kill him! Beat him! That's it, go off! Except there ain't gonna be. Oh, oh, look out. Who taught you to fight? That's it. Get him, Gore. Get him. That's it. Get him, Gore. Get him. That's it. Way to go. If you dislike gold that much, it cannot be helped. But what? here is your share. Five hundred. So go Wait, have some sort of let shield. me get a good look at your face. Uh, so I remember to bet against you. The girl are committed oh, to well, you got some nerve. One more fight. Bowing out now will cost us all that. And more. Zora. What have you done with her? Yes. Nothing. It was a poor choice of words. The girl is not a prisoner, no more than you. She has her own fight, but Shashar could not risk the three of you strong-arming your way out of here. He has debts to pay. If she's lost a hair on her head, you hear me? One hair, and God's as my witness, I'll shove your tail so far down your mouth. You will have two on the other end. Do not worry. Jashar would not cross you. Nor does he want to be called two tails. In fact, as a measure of good faith, your companion and I are fighting together. Oh, no, really? As fortune would have it, our opponents are favored three to one. Would you like to place a wager on yourself? You can bet up to 500 gold. That comes to a return of 1,200 septims. It would be foolish not to, unless you plan on leaving your gold to your kid. After all, the pit is no place for thieves. The wishes of the dead are respected here. Well, Gore, I cannot believe that you got me in this, this world. Well, all right, if I'm going to fight in this arena and it looks like I don't have any choice, I might as well earn some coin. Exactly. And Jashar is experienced enough to handle most of the fighting. It will be the easiest coin you ever made. Yeah. Wait. All right, place my bet. Excellent. 
Both you and Jashar will be much wealthier by night's end. Jashar? It looks like your match has gotten pushed back. Your dance partner got a case of the brain rot and fled. How unfortunate. What does this mean for Jashar's bets? You've got Nocturnal's luck, Cat. Different pair, but the same odds. The crowd doesn't think much of your chances. Oh boy, this sounds like a fact, trap. Not a Trick. single patron has come to complain. Seems like they weren't betting on them so much as they're betting against you. Alas, Jashar's reputation precedes himself. It will likely be another hour or so before the fight begins. Do not worry. This is all going according to plan. So the you say. The two of you grab a drink and mingle. When the others arrive, the fair lady will let you know. I don't like this at all. I know this is your world. And... You know, I'm glad that you're sharing it with me. I mean, this is such a rude awakening after a... Our celebration and festivities yesterday, but hey, I guess you know this comes with being your partner. But anyhow, let's uh, go ahead and talk to the fair lady. We have to rescue Zora. I'm worried about her. Okay, lady. So, you're one of Jashar's friends? Or should I say, friend, as seeing as you've been the first? I'm sure. They call me the Fair Lady. What can I do for you? Who's in charge here? <laughs> I'm sorry, but there ain't enough coin in your pocket to make me answer that. Jashar mentioned other locations. That's right. It's the best way to operate outside the lower. You stay in one place, and one day even a drunken lout will stumble upon it. The Jarl's men ain't much smarter than that, mm -hmm. but that makes them smart enough. That's why we rarely use this place. All save for special matches, like with your friend there. Most days I'm working in some dirty cellar. Sitting on a stall with more splinters than hairs on me head. But I'll take a few needles in the rear if it keeps us out of trouble. Fair's fair. I take it you handle the wages. I do more than handle them. I set the odds. Now, you might be thinking, what's this old hag know about fighters? You don't look that old. Not a sodding thing. But it ain't my job to pick the winners. It's to set the odds. And to do that, you have to know the betters. Not the overgrown oafs they're betting on. Every fight's got their bride and their groom. If I set the odds right, then you've got an equal number of folks on both sides of the aisle. You got too many on one side, you change the odds so the rest of the patrons sit on the other. That's the only way to guarantee we come out ahead. It doesn't matter which fighter wins, because we get a piece of every winning bet. Walk me through how you set the odds for our fight. I don't know about you, but Jashar's got a reputation. I'd wager it's all a sham. But it ain't my business if the patrons want to believe it. He's always doing some sort of grooming exercise, like licking his fur or straightening his whiskers. People see that and they see a milk drinker. They'll risk a hundred gold to win thirty, because that's how little they think of him. And why do they call you the fair lady? Because I handle the gold. When you win, I pay. And when you lose, I don't. 
Fair is fair. Mm. Cute. There has to be something unfair about it, or else you wouldn't make a profit. Ain't nothing unfair about charging for a service. You just try and make a wager with some of these lowlifes, and see how many are good for it. The nobles are even worse. We keep the books, same as any business, so there ain't no confusion about who owes what. Any information on the next fight? Fifty gold ought to do it. Don't look so surprised now. Information costs money. Fair's fair. <laughs> no thanks. I've paid you enough. Fine. But remember, fifty gold is a piddling sum compared to what you'll get if you win. And what you'll lose if you don't. All right, that's all the questions I have. I'm ready for the cage. Then you're in luck. It looks like our friends from Hammerfell have arrived. What Hammerfell? Last call for bets. Three to one for Great. Dishard and the new blood. Two to seven Go for the warriors on. I have from to Hammerfell. fight our own people now. I tell you. Yes. All right. Those two have no idea what they're in for. Be waiting for you at the victory table, love. <laughs> Do not worry. Just Thank you. Just crossed blades with this type many times. Fortune Glad to see a vote of confidence. Both. All right. Are, are we ready? We're just going to do this, uh... The non-magical way, even though my sword is enchanted. Ready yourself. There is no announcer here. The battle begins when the weapons are drawn. All right. Get him! Come on! Get him! Ride that snow back to the ground! I cannot rest! Come on, you can fight harder than that. Just a scratch! You just want to stand there and take it? Fight so fast! Come on, fight! 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 Where's the other one? I submit! Cowering in the corner. Really? I'll see you in pieces! Sorry. All right, Gore, thanks for having my back. I saw you with the your staff drawn. Now what? It was a lucky win for Jashar. His partner did all of the work. Yeah, of course I did. Here is your share. Twelve hundred gold. A handsome sum. And well deserved. You and Jashar make for an excellent team. No, you're joking. This could be the beginning of a very no, it's not. relationship. We're finished with the pits. Just tell me where to find Zora. Unfortunately, Jashar still has business here. What? But you will find your friend to the north, at the peak of the Sky Temple ruins. Trust Jashar when he tells you. She is safe. This ain't over, Cat. Seems to me there's only one of two outcomes. Either Zora's safe, and I beat you bloody, or she ain't, and I beat you dead. Jashar still hopes you will choose a third option. 
But he understands. He will take his beating when you return. Damn. As much as I hate to admit it, that pot of Bajit's stew will have to wait. Let's go to those ruins and see if we can't even the odds. <laughs> All right, but I have a bad feeling about this. Then we got the same feeling. Uh oh. And it ain't gonna go away until we get to those ruins. I know the little diamond can take care of herself, but that don't make it any easier to be here when she's there. So come on. Hopefully, we can make it back here in time for dinner. Until next time. All right, let's go. Looks like the ruins are up here, but is this the way in? Can I hear something? Come on. There's a lot of something going on up here. Zora must be up here. Chasing this dog. Go, on, come on. Zora, get behind me. You're susceptible to the light of Stendar. It's quite unfortunate. There, yeah, he's down. What have we got? What more of these things? And look at this. Look at this creature. Get it. Where is Gore? You know, if it's not one thing, it's another. All right, Zora. Oh, look, a uh, excavation site. Yeah, we need to find Gore. Oh boy, now 
where did Zora go? Oh, here she goes. Is Gore still down here? Yes, he is. Leaving us to do all the fighting. You all right? We got here as soon as we could. Oh no, I was in great peril. But then two legendary heroes swooped in and saved me. I am truly a lucky girl. It would have been so much more disappointing to be the girl who saves herself. <laughs> <laughs> And here I was, feeling guilty for taking your kills. I don't think I'll ever understand you, princess. You wouldn't be the first. I guess it don't make much difference now. But how did you get here? Well, I remember waking up in a sack and hearing your Khajiit friend arguing with someone over price. The other person asked how fresh the corpse was, and he said very fresh. Too fresh, apparently, seeing as I was still alive. Then I went back to sleep. The next time I woke up, I was on the table over there, much to the surprise of everyone. Hmm. I can imagine. So, Jashar sold your body to necromancers, but kept you alive. Is that what happened? Here I thought these men were fighting for my affections. Although it does explain the sack. <laughs> I am rather hurt. But as I have made a living out of disappointing necromancers, I suppose all's fair. And by the way, it is so typical of you to forget this Khajiit cannot be trusted. It must be because of the fur. You can Don't look at me, Gore. Ha ha ha. Usually, I don't have to remember. I just kill the people who cross me. But Jashar and I never were on opposite ends of the battle. In the pit, or outside of it. It being Kesmet and all. And you say I'm hard to understand? So, what's our next move? Like I said, Unless we kill this cat soon, I'll probably end up forgetting the whole thing. <laughs> you we just need to forget. boil this son of a Daedrith while my blood's still simmering. But it's not like you'll be waiting for us at the pits. Well, the pit fans are a talkative bunch. We should ask one of them. <laughs> the fans like to talk, but most ain't got nothing to say. At least, nothing that doesn't sound like noise. Some, though, they know us fighters better than we know ourselves. So, yeah, maybe there's one or two that's kept an eye on Jashar. If nothing else, it's worth checking out. Alright, well, I would also suggest talking to the fair lady, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have that choice. Alright then, let's the three of us get back to the pit. Here it is, the pit. Watch the traps. Okay. No key. This man. 
Wow. Are you some kind of a joker? Didn't expect to see you two back here. Or is it three now? Do you know where Just Shah might have run off to? Ah, yes. The cat. Everybody wants to know where the cat is. But not everybody is willing to pay the toll. Of course, as much as I despise the cat, I ain't the sort to go squealing on a pit mate. At least, not for anything less than a thousand gold. You're better off asking the lady. She'll give you a fair deal. All right, that sounds like a plan then. Fair lady. Any idea where Jashar might be? Well, the information I've got may not be worth a wooden septum. But that doesn't mean I'll sell it for less than 200 gold ones. The Khajiit is manipulating the matches and making your job harder. Give him up. True. Having him out of the way would make my life easier. On the other hand, so would 200 septims. Boy. I can't get anything past you, can I? Here. Now, that wasn't so hard, was it? All right, I'll tell you what I know. Fair's fair. <laughs> There was a name written on the back of one of his betting slips. Now, I don't know if he let me see it on purpose, but it's all I know. The name was Orathheim. Some cave over in Hjalmarch. I'd look for him there. Then what are we still standing here for? Let's go. All right, easy, calm down. Come on. Here we are at Orathheim. Come on, let's go. There's more. Come on. If y'all want to go ahead, What's his name should be in here. Olav. Oh. Go on. Get in there. You puny weakling. There you go. Get him. That's it. Now, we really did make a great team. Bandits. 
Better keep up, friend. Wouldn't be right hoarding all the fun for myself. What do you think we should do with our Akashit friend? Lock him up? Sell him to vampires? I hadn't thought about that. I figured we'd just kill him. Hmm. Well, normally I wouldn't be so cruel, but he just put me in a sack. And what's good no. for the heart is Look out, the heart. look out. Get him. Kill you. There he is. Get him, go off. He's all yours. Yeah, you did it. All those times I wondered where you might to face the shore in the arena. And the poor sod was no different than the rest. It's like waiting all day to eat a bowl of pork or stew. Oh, I'm sorry. Tasting chicken on your tongue instead. Food, food, food. <laughs> it is always about food with you, isn't it? You were friends once, right? Say something nice. You mean like a speech or something? Uh, I ain't so good at that. But I guess now that he's dead, there ain't no point being raw. Uh, Jashar, you and me didn't always see eye to eye. I mean, you weren't all bad, but just enough where I couldn't let it slide. It, this Less is easy. This is Kakim. No, Kakim. It's Kakeem. <laughs> it's a duplicate. Harder than killing him. Doppelganger. That's for sure. Well, that's the end of it. One less double-crossing, scheming pit dog in the world. Now it's time to find something to eat. <laughs> Zora's right. Ain't much I like to do other than killing folks and eating hawkers. Since we got one out of the way... All I can think about is the other. All right. So how do you feel? You and Kakeem used to be friends. When you fight in the arena, pretty much every day you're saying goodbye to somebody. So you sort of don't get too attached. Jashar was about as close to a friend I had in the arena. <laughs> Sorry. But it still wasn't all that close. It ain't like with me and you and Princess over there. We're never going to be on opposite ends of that cage. That's the way I like it. Living outside the pit. We're free to go whichever way the bandit blows. I'm just glad to have you along for the ride. Something on your mind. And I'm glad to be here. Zora. Gore. Well Alright, it's time for us to get out of here and continue with our further adventures in Skyrim.